up for sale at Vehicle Max with a beautiful 2012 Dodge Charger RT with a Hemi engine, factory navigation, factory 20 inch chrome wheels, rear parking sensors, adaptive cruise control, Beats by Dre, speakers, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. Has only 27,000 miles and it's still under the balance of a three year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. And it's followed, I believe, by a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. It has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free on our website, VehicleMax.net. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always close on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Right, the vehicle has also a remote start. I'll show you how that goes. Car has to be locked. Click here twice. This is a really neat feature, especially in the summer when it's nice and hot. As long as you have the air conditioning on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the AC and it'll cool down the car for you. In the winter, the opposite. As long as you had the heater on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the heater. And when you're ready to, um, you know, when you turn on the car, when it reaches enough temperature, it'll warm up the car for you. Once you're ready to drive off, just approach the vehicle and because of the intelligent key, all you gotta do is press a little switch on the door handle, get inside the car and you're ready to drive off because it will sense the key. If you wanna turn it off, Let's press the circle again. All right, let's go ahead and get inside of it now. Well, actually, let's lock it up and let me show you how it works over here. Put the key inside my pocket. On uh, the door handle has a little switch. You press it once for the driver door. Actually, that's for locking here. That's for locking, I'm sorry. It's not for unlocking. Neat since you have to do it that way. And this one you have to click on lock here. All right. Has I also a, a blind zone spot alert there okay this uh, triangle above there is going to turn yellow when somebody is on your blind spot and adaptive cruise control it's got a lot of safety features the door panels are all charcoal black with a great stitching of course we got power windows power door locks cruise control tilt wheel the two front windows the auto meaning the automatic one touch up and one touch down memory seats for up to two drivers beats by dre speakers Power seat, power recliner, lumbar support, and uh, you got seat side airbags as well as uh, curtain side airbags. And uh, before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been an out smoker. The leather is uh, solid on the sides and perforated in the center with a nice uh, gray stitching, just like on the door panels. We got also automatic headlights. This vehicle has a, has our HID lights and it has also factory fog lights. All right, let me go ahead and get inside, get it started for you. Okay, remember the the key never really has to leave your pocket to get the car started. I'm putting it back in there now. When you get inside the car, the vehicle is going to sense that the key is nearby, and all you got to do is hit, the, is hit the push button start. Step on the brake and hit the push button start, as it tells you over here. Okay, so let's do that. You don't have to hold the button, just press it once. Yeah, it's got the Beats by Drain. And you got a um, heated and cool seat option. Right now it's on a, it was on the cool seat option. And it's a touch screen. All right. And uh, there's your map. Okay, nice huge screen, by the way. Let's put down both front windows so we can get a little bit of lighting. And again, one touch. That's what that means, you don't really have to hold it. And we'll leave both front windows down for now so we can get a little bit of lighting for the video. So we got the we got a, a, a number of options here. You got your stereo, your CD player, your seat controls, which is what I was showing you earlier. Right now, where I got the ventilated seat on, which actually I can feel that, and it has two settings, high and low. And you also got the heated, um, and you also got a heated string wheel. So, um, and then this of course is for the passenger side. Uh, let's see here. Here's your climate control here. Your navigation, which is where we're at now. 
this is your Bluetooth controls. You have to have pair your Bluetooth. Your phone is connected. We have to pair our phone now. No. Okay. And uh, you got more stuff over here. You got your city, uh, Sirius satellite uh, travel link. This is your settings. And uh, I believe that's it. So let's go back to navigation. We'll leave it there. And over here it tells you that you have the uh, cool seat option on the driver's side right now at low. All right. Uh, adaptive cruise control. There's three settings for this, uh, low, medium, and, uh, uh, or not low, it's uh, far, medium, and close. And this is, you can say, your setting. There's a sensor in the front bumper that senses the distance of the front vehicle. So when you put your cruise control, it's called an adaptive cruise control. Pretty much it'll slow you down if you're getting too close. Um, <coughs> and then you get your regular settings over here. Once you pair your Bluetooth, this is where you're gonna answer and hang up the phone here. And this is for your onboard computer right now. I got it on the, uh, Tire pressure setting, but you can move it around to do other things, you know. Okay, uh, so we'll place back here. And you got all your controls, your vehicle info, messages, and turn menu off, whatever. You can control everything here through here. Uh, above that, you'll see the odometer reading is 27,894 uh, miles to the right of the odometer reading. It's the outside temperature, and to the left is a compass that lets us know that we're pointing heading in the east direction. The car is running right now. Let's grab the engine. Hemi V8, and uh, over here is your uh, speedometer and gas gauge, and over here is your water temperature. Okay, um, you got dual climate control. You can control the driver's side, make it cooler or warmer on the passenger side, which all that really does is this one here controls the two AC vents on the right-hand side, and this one here controls the two AC vents on the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and put on some music. I think it because it's controls back here. Let me see. No, that's the station. Hang on a second here. All right. Over here, you get controls. This one is to seek up or seek down. And then uh, here, I believe this is the volume. Yes. Let's do that again. Over here. This one here, the center button takes you to. Um, let me lower the volume. And it helps you navigate from AM to FM. We were on FM and now we're on satellite. Now we're on AM and then back to FM. <clears throat> Got a cigarette lighter adapter over here. Uh, this is your CD drive and I don't know if this is your hard, hard, uh, hard disk drive. Okay, um, traction control over here. This is your rear defogger and front defogger and your hazard buttons over here. Uh, your main glove box is over here and then there is your honest manual with its casing and all supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation. It also has a manual shifting mode. <coughs> reverse, and by the way, when you put it in reverse, you get your color backup camera there with parking guidelines. Neutral, and drive. And also you're gonna drive it 99% of the time, but if you wanna make a shift manual, you'll notice that you can tap on the shifter to the right to shift up, or to the left sh sh to shift down. If you don't, if that, doesn't, if that does not interest you, put it in neutral, Back in drive, and you're back in normal drive, and this is what the display looks like. That's normal drive right there. So if I tap to the right, you see D1, D2, and so on. If I tap to the left, it shifts back down. If I did that, you don't want to do the manual shifting, just put it back to neutral and back to D, and you're ready to go. Uh, and we'll do all the shifting there for you. Uh, you get a little storage over here, and more storage over here. It's a good place to put maybe some change, or even your phone. Um, this slides back into a cup holder, and you will notice. Uh, let me see here. Let me grab it with my right hand. You will notice that both. By the way, they got our courtesy lighting. Uh, both cup holders have a cool drink option. Okay, you see the little light turn blue, and then the heat option to heat up your coffee or whatever. Okay, uh, and then you can also hide that away. And then you have storage here. Down there, you got. Um, a cigarette lighter adapter and USB and iPod ports and you got coin slots there and uh, all right uh, let's see here okay up in the top here you got your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garages or gates if you happen to live in a gated community <coughs> you got map lights which by the way I have this one on here and you got a pocket here for sunglasses Excuse me. Uh, you got an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor up here that senses bright light. So if somebody puts their high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. You got a vanity uh, mirror here with lighting and an extension here to block out the sun even more. 
Okay, uh, let's pan it with the dashboard now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. In the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142. There's a zip code open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays, 9 to 5, and we'll always close on Sundays. All right, um, I think we're ready to move on to the back, so let's do that. Uh, let's turn off the vehicle here. I remember the keys in my pocket, so, but to turn off the vehicle, you don't have to step on the brake. You have a power trunk release here, and you can also uh, release the trunk from the remote control. We'll get back to in a minute. Your fuel door release is here. This is a five passenger vehicle, two in the front and three in the back. And uh, they all have an over the shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, which uses that belt that comes out for here. These little plastic knobs will indicate to you that in here, there's a, there's a, a little a U, chrome U there, you can't really see it in the video, that you can tie down your baby car seat on either side. Not only are the front seats heated, but as you can see, the rear row seats are also heated. And there's another cigarette light ad adapter here for, for the chargers, and AC vent for the rear row passengers. Uh, rear window defroster, the little orange lines that defog your rear glass. If you don't have a middle row passenger, you can flip this down and use it as a cup holder and storage. All right, the rear door panels are the same as in the front. Um, all black with a great stitching. This vehicle does have um, the child lock protection. I'll show you how it works. You remove your key blade or put a screwdriver in there, give it half a twist to the left, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, same thing, put your screwdriver or key blade, give it a half a twist to the right, and uh, this handle will start working again. All right, um, again, you get the 20 inch chrome wheels, four wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors as I just showed you. All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. Okay, get your third brake light up here, rear spoiler. Okay, there's the RT. The Beats by Dre boombox back here. Huge trunk space. Right rear door panel, I mean right rear door, um, right rear tail light. You got parking sensors, so along with the rear camera, when you are backing up, you should be pretty good because not only will you be able to see where you're going, but the sensors will beep when you approach another vehicle or object. Dual exhaust. All right, let's go ahead and close the trunk. It just releases, uh, but it's not a power trunk. And by the way, uh, you can open the power trunk by pressing here, see? And that is because it senses that the key is nearby. Okay, somebody comes and presses the button when they, when they don't have the key, it won't open. All right, got privacy tinted glass also. Right rear door panel, perfect shape. I'm sure by now you notice that none of the panels have any cuts, stairs, burn holes, or cracks. You got bottle holders here. The speaker covers are not damaged. You got the factory floor mats, by the way. Okay, and let me give you a look at the headliner now so you can see it's in perfect shape without any cuts, tears, burn holes, or stains. Again, remember you get the, um, the, 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 the one in the top, this one here, the one in the bottom, it just turns on. Let me just open the door to let you know you got a door open. Okay, that's square. But the triangle above, it lights up in yellow when there's a vehicle in your blind spot. So, lots of safety features in this vehicle. Right front door panel. And the Beats by Dre speaker on both sides, of course. And you got power seat, power recline, and lumbar support on the passenger side, not just the driver's side. All right, I want to talk to you about financing for just a second before we end the video. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page, you see a tab at the top that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. Before we uh, conclude the video, I want to pop the hood real quick here. Give you a look at the Hemi engine. So remember, you got HID lights. Okay, those are the high intensity lights that light up uh, with like a bluish tint. You got fog lights in the bottom. And I believe this one here is the one that senses the speed of the front uh, up, um, vehicle. And the one that helps the adaptive cruise control uh, regulate uh, your speed if you're approaching the vehicle. <clears throat> okay, 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. No oxidation, no rust. Just the car's in brand new condition. Really, really clean. 
in all original, no uh, stock, uh, everything stock, no aftermarket stuff. And again, you're still under the manufacturer's warranty. Okay. Um, that's going to do it for the video. I want to thank you for watching our video and remind you if you have any questions, feel free to call me at 305-218-5462. My name is George.